is known, you know, GTS land is a subsidiary under GTS Holdings, and on GTS land is known to be the largest seller of luxury service plots, which means that we don't just sell ordinary plots of land. Unlike some real estate company, once they give you, they, they introduce you to their properties and the, the transaction takes place, that is the end of business. So you you own your land and the, anything concerning the land is no longer their business. But when you come when it comes to GTS land, GTS land will go as far as putting in some of those infrastructures like access routes to your plot, a, um, a proper drainage system, 247 security. So as an investor or as a marketer, you can as well inform your clients that this land you're buying is not just an ordinary piece of land. It comes with some amenities that anywhere you are in the world, you can buy this property and go and relax. You can buy this property and go and rest. The company will be the one to take care of it for you. We are the ones to help you clear it put in some facilities that will even help the, the property increase in value. Some of our estates, they are polo estates, they are golf course estates, and so many more that we are bringing into the estate, right? We have the vision of having, a, I mean, a golf course, right? And we also have a vision of making sure that if you live in our estate, you are very comfortable. You are, just, you are not just living inside an ordinary estate, but you get to enjoy the luxury green and smart estate, which comes with renewable energy, biodigester, you know, you 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 have the comfort you at the comfort of your homes, you, you can access anything in your gas you can you don't need to go out to go and fill your gas. We have waste product into a bio cooking gas. So those are the benefits, those are the things you stand to gain when you invest with us, whether you buy a, a property with us or you buy a house from us right if you buy a property from us let's say a landed property if by the time we put in all these facilities it helps to increase your own property as well let's take um, lakwe for example if you if you buy a land in lakwe and right now you go there even if you are not building there is no one you take to lakwe now and you tell the person in my property is 150 million per plot if you are not buying then let's forget about it. The person we buy the company we are bringing into our own estate. And those are the things that stands us out. You benefit from the fact that if you are doing land banking, you will be able to know that your, your, your investment is hidden in value. It's giving you value. It's giving you know, more than two to 300% on your, on your investment. So all these things are part of the things you should say to your, you, I mean, say to your investors because they are interested in what can I gain if I buy this property from you? Okay, I want to do land banking. We are known for land banking. That is our slogan. GTS Land is the home of, I mean, is, is, is the home of land banking. We sell, we, we, we help investors build wealth through land banking. So, we sell our properties, even though some of those properties are ready to build, we still advise that investors will keep it for some time, for some time so that they can gain value for their money. So um, let's quickly talk about um, some of our estates here, right? So we have, okay, this, this, is, um, this is on pre-launch. So I'll quickly talk about our pre-launch estate. Number one on our list for the pre-launch estate is Garnet Estates Ibejuleki, Garnet City Ibejuleki. And one of the advantages of having a pre-launch estate is when you buy, you stand the chance to save about, I mean, 50% of the actual price. So which means as you are buying on pre-launch, you are already making, saving money for yourself. You are already making money because instead of waiting till the property is launched and you now buy it, or, I mean, buy it at the actual price, you, you have the, 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 the privilege to save some costs for yourself and then buy at the rate of 50%. And the, the, the juicy part of it is that that 50% you are paying covers for everything, both your documentation and infrastructural fee. It covers for it, unlike some estate, like Garnet Estate, due to the documentation, the document the estate is having, we are 
are only waving, giving a waiver on documentation because number one, that place is some part is waterlogged. So you know that estates that are waterlogged, it 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 warrants a lot of money. We will need a lot of inflow to be able to put it in order and fill and make sure that the estate is ready for to build and people can assess it easily. And this property comes with governor's consent, right? Governor's consent. That is the Garnet Estate Ibejuleki. There's waiver on documentation fee only, right? So if you are pitching this to your investors, to your clients, you can let them know that a documentation fee that is around um, 3.5 million naira has been waived. So you only get to pay for the developmental fee, which has been factored into the cost of the land already. So if you are paying this 30 million naira, you be rest assured that you are paying everything inclusive, right? So and then for for investors who might want to say, oh, they don't have the outright payment to pay for the for 30 million naira, we have rooms for in, 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 I mean installments. So the installment instead of paying us 70 million. 70 million you still get to save at least 50 percent you know instead of paying us 70 million you pay us 35 million those are the advantage of buying the property on pre-launch and the mini estate instead of paying 50 million you pay us 25 million per plus now some people will be asking uh, i have clients who might want to visit the estate before they pay so one of the things we do during pre-launch, we don't take people to site on pre-launch estate. When an estate is on pre-launch sale, we don't take clients to site. They, they are, they, we believe that those who understand how this land banking and pre-launch sales work, pre-launch simply means that, uh, let's, let me quickly buy you. When they are ready to show me the place, I can go and see. And another advantage of it is that when we eventually, I mean, try as much as possible to launch the estate, we launch the estate when we know that everything has been concluded. We've, we've done all the due diligence because sometimes when we are doing all the due diligence, we cannot wait till we are done because sometimes it takes a very long time for us to, you know, conclude and perfect everything. So in that process, of course, the owner, the sellers, they've given us a go ahead to start selling and we've done some down payments. We've made some down payments for the land. So it's also helped us to start selling on this pre-launch. So we can't really take investors there because of our own, we are trying to protect our own, I mean, side of it. Because sometimes when you take clients to a property that you are selling on pre-launch, they might even buy court you to go and meet the, the land sellers. So to avoid the stories that touch, or to avoid the fact that, oh, we are still carrying out some investigation, due diligence, and we've already we've taken some clients to site. To so avoid the part of, oh, this land you are I bought is not where, where you are giving to me now. We don't want to have such issues, right? That is why we avoid taking clients to site. Because sometimes, by the time we find out that, oh, this property, the, the document, something is wrong with it. You know, we really need to do our due diligence. If it's not okay, we move to the next one. Because we, as a company, we don't want to endanger our investors selling something that we know at the end of the day is going to have cause problems. It also tells on our integrity as well. So that is why we like to take investors to site when we have concluded everything and everything is perfected. We can now fix a pre-launch date. We fix a pre-launch date. We do, uh, we do the launch date, right? We do the launch date and on the day of the launch, we now allocate to investors who bought you know, during the pre-launch sale, we allocate, that is another advantage. You you get your allocation, your plot allocated to you once you are done paying for the documentation and everything. And the good part of it is that once you pay, you will make your down payment, let's say 50% of your down payment, we immediately send you your provisional allocation letter. That provisional allocation letter simply means that we are sending this to you pending on when you are done with your payment and when we are launching. So when we are launching, we can now give you this portion of plot and block number. In some cases, when it's on pre-launch, we delay in sending the provisional allocation um, letter because we, we need to work on the layout to actually get the plot size, the block and plot number. Then we now send you, I mean, 
provisional allocation letter. Then on the day of launch, on the day of launch, we now send you, we invite you, if you, if it's possible for you to come physically, you can come physically, then we allocate your plot to you. So that is the benefit of buying a pre-launch estate, right? You get to save over 50% of the actual price and then you get your plot allocated to you on the day of launch. And you, you even stand the chance of being allocated the front side. Some people say, oh, I want I want somewhere that is very close to the to the road. Oh, I want, I want a corner piece and stuff like that, right? So those are the advantages we on pre-launch estate. So we also have Garnet Resort Estate Abuja. We also have Garnet Estate in Abuja in Asokoro. And sorry to interrupt. Please share your screen again. Please share your Oh, you guys cannot see my screen. No. Okay, I'll I'll share it again. Let me share it again. Please kindly hold on. So can you see my screen now? Yes, yes. Okay. So we have Garnet Estate in Abuja. That is Garnet Estate Asokoro. And the landmarks are there as well. The landmarks are AYA Central Marks. And then we have NAF, NAF Valley Estate as well, with so, so many other landmarks. So, and the thing is, we don't send landmarks as well. We don't send, we just, you know, we tell our investors, oh, this is the location. And probably the landmark, we can just call out all this landmark. But we, we don't send it to investors because we don't want a situation whereby they'll say, oh, I want to go and check. I want to go and verify, right? So we just know these landmarks so that it will help us in terms of marketing. Oh, I have a pre-launch estate in social -so area. It shares uh, boundaries with this place, you know, that place and all of that. Hence the reason why we have the landmarks here. And the property is going for 20 million naira on an outright payment and 25 million naira on installments and mini estate per plot is 15 million naira. All these uh, price you are seeing here, they are all 50% slash of the actual price. 50% of the actual price. That's the benefit of buying a pre-launch estate. Then we have Berry Golf Range Estate, Enugu. So we have Enugu Estate which is also on pre-launch. People have been asking, do you guys, do you have properties, I mean, in the East? Now we have Eastern property. People, I don't know what's happening. I don't know our journeys. We have properties in the East. So you can reach out to all the all the Igbo guys who have been asking. The, now, Jitters land is in, is in the East. What's going on? So including our staff who are here listening to us, let them know that we have properties in the East and it's on pre-launch. And this one is selling for seven billion on an outright payment, ten million on installment, and three point five million for mini estate. So now the only this property is, is 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 not that expensive. This is the best time for you to say, okay, let me even market this one for investors who say their their budget is um, five million naira or ten million naira and above or ten million naira and below. These are the kind of properties we send to them. And like I said earlier, we sell luxury service plots. So I'm mindful of where they are. Let them just buy. That is why you are dealing with a company. Company is in charge of taking care of your property for you. We mount the security officers in all our estates. There's no estate you go to and you will not meet a security person there. Reason, the reason why those security guys are there, they are number one, they are watching over the estate. Number two, if the estate is... <laughs> 
organize people to clear it and it is from there we pay for all those fees we pay those people who are taking care of the estate and so on right so we also have sapphire estate in abia sapphire estate is also selling for 10 million naira on an outright payment 15 million naira on installments and the mini estate is 5 million naira per plot so these are juicy offers with under full landmarks that I on, I believe that marketing it to your investors would go a long way for you to make money for the company and make money for yourself, right? So please, let's, let us take advantage of these offers. You know, we also have Sedios Estate Ijebo the outright payment is going for 7.5 million, installment is going for 10 million, and many estates is going for 5 million air per plot, right? So these are all the pre-launch estates we have. Okay, another one here is um, Charles Doni Estate in Badagri. So in Badagri, we have an estate waiver on documentation and developmental levy, right? Per plot there in Badagri is selling for 15 million. In and mini escape to your investors pairs your investors who might want to take advantage of we have Jasper, Jasper Estate in who is selling for 10 million naira. Outright payments, installment is 15 million naira. Mini Estate is 5 million naira per plot. So it is very, very important to take advantage of all of our pre launch estates. So we, we, we also have pre launch estate sales in, in Port Harcourt, pre launch estate. So um, that is why I said earlier that. It is so important to take advantage of any of our pre-launch estate. Right now in Port Harcourt, we have our pre-launch sales, but the exact location will be communicated once everything is finalized. We we'll communicate the exact location, but if you have someone who wants to take advantage of pre-launch estate in Port Harcourt, why not? We have offers available, 10 million now on outright payment, 12.5 million now for installments, and 7.5 million naira for mini estate. So it is very, very important to know that all these locations, we have our pre-launch estate, you know, selling for those amounts, 50% of the actual price in case you have investors that might want to buy. So another thing I would like to share is where we have our orange estate. So I will share that with us right now. I will share that with us. If you can see my slide, kindly acknowledge. Please, can you see my slide on this? Can you yes, all see can. my slide? Okay. So um, for some persons who might be wondering, ah, I'm just hearing pre-launch, pre-launch. What about the launch estate? So those are the ones I'm sharing right now. So our launch estate, which we even visited some of the estate last week. We visited Beria Bekuta, and then we also visited uh, Stadius Estate Ekbe. Right, so these are the offers, these are the prices for Beryl Polo Estates. Abekuta, we, we have the offers here, the prices 18.5 million, you know, for outright payment. And these are the landmarks wonderful neighborhood, Muhammadu Buari Estate, Ogun State Tech Hub, Obasanjo Hilltop Estate, and Obasanjo Presidential Library. Right, these are all the landmarks, I mean, and the neighborhood as well. The title of this estate is COFO in view. So we are still processing the COFO. So for investors who buy into this estate, they get their deed of assignment and survey plan. So they get their deed of assignment and survey plan while the COFO is in view. Then I'll move to the next one. The next one is Berry Fort City in Abuja, Berry Kurudu in Abuja.
Abuja, outright payment is also going for 18.5 million. Sorry, cost came in. Sorry, guys, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Right. Yes, we can. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So we also have in Abuja as well, it's still going for the same 18.5 million. And the title of this is Arovo. Then we have in uh we have Beryl Golf Estate in Ibado, right? We have Berry Golf Estate that is directly opposite the Dominion University, is also going for 18.5 million. And then we have Beryl. We have the real estate Asaba as well. We also have a property in Asaba. We call the real estate in Asaba. Is that one is going for 35 million? Reason being that it has a CO4. It's going for 35 million for outright payments. And then all this amount covers for both the developmental fee, infrastructure fee, documentation, and all of that. They are all inclusive. They are inclusive. So then we have Berry Beachfront. Berry Be Beachfront is in Ibejuleki and is selling for 45 million naira on an outright payment and 50 million naira on installment. So if you have investors who want to buy key into the burial beachfront, and you we all know the the juicy part of this berry beachfront is facing the eight-lane coastal road, the Calabar eight-lane coastal road. This is where this property is is located and it's, it's, it's just opposite the eight lane coastal road. So it's an important thing. It's very important for you to inform your investors. We've been inspecting that location for some time now. So if for, for someone who is just joining us for the first time, you can request for the videos so that you can also share with your investors as well or your prospects that you have been talking to. Okay. Um, then we also have Jasper. We have Jasper Hill View. Jasper Hill View in um in Bejulek. Sorry, Jasper Hill View, Abuja, is in or is on the uh, airport road. Jasper Airport Road in Abuja in Lube. This one is going for thirty seven point five million naira on an outright payment. Outright payment. Although the property, the landed property is sold out, but if we have a serious buyer because we all know that this estate is ready to build and our staffs, they live there. So if you have a buyer who is interested in buying just one plot, we can still see what we can do. So we actually, we can squeeze out a plot from our own housing unit. So such person who is a serious buyer, right? Then we have um, Jasper Smart City in Ibejuleki. Yeah, just past Smart City, we stopped selling at 50 million naira. But if we have someone who is still interested, why not? We can still make a plot available for such investor. We stopped selling at 50 million naira on an outright payment. Then we have just past Smart City, Sherry. So just by State, Sherry is selling for 30 million naira on an outright payment. And we have Sapphire Estate, Sapphire Estate in Iporodu. Is selling for 18.5 million naira. And then we have our Monia, White House Estate Monia. So Monia is selling for 25 million on an outright payment and installment is 30 million. Then we have we have Sages Estate. Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, so we have Stadios Estate Guzape 2 that is currently selling for 50 million naira. We all know where Guzape is located. Guzape is also more like in the heart of Abuja. Guzape 2, where we have the Koza Church, and then we also have a lot of high net worth individuals living in that location. So it's very important to let our investors know that we have property in such location, Asokoro and Guzape 2. These are prime locations in Abuja. And then, so we also have, um, okay, um, Sedios Estate is still on pre-launch. Sedios Court is on pre-launch. So we have we have our property in Ekbe as well. We have Sedios Farm City, Ekbe. 
this this estate we visited it last week so and there was an offer it's just quite unfortunate that some investors did some came into the offer and some did not so now it's back to the actual price of 35 million for outright payments and then we have white house estate budget that is selling for 15 million on an outright payment and 20 million on installment right so um the, the rest here they are still our pre-launch that I, spoke, I talked about just now um i'll quickly share with us we have an offer this this aspect is very important we have a negotiation day with the chairman and the negotiation day started yesterday right so um and it's on this all this estate that I just listed that we have some selling for 18.5 million era so there is a 30 percent um negotiation day fee with the chairman so if you have a a, a a client you have someone who is pricing i mean who wants a, a, a good offer can you all see my screen now can you see my screen okay so this this is chairman sorry who is this who is this person talking about resignation letter please mute yourself Okay, so uh, we have Chairman's Day, ne Chairman's Negotiation Day on some of those estates. So I'll be reading out the estate. We have Sapphire Estate is inclusive. Berry Polo Estate, Abekuta Ogun State is part of the estates. You can inform your, your clients to come and negotiate. Berry Gulf Estate is part of it. Berry Ibado is part of it. White House Estate, Ato is part of it. Then White House Estate Monia Ibado is also part of it. So we and we are selling twenty plots only, twenty plots for the first, uh, first uh, persons, first twenty persons that reach out, just twenty plots, twenty plots only, right? So if I were you right now, after this product knowledge, uh, this this um this will be dropped on the group for GNA and we'll also drop it for our general staff, you can send it to your investors, let them reach out and, you know, send in their negotiation amounts. Uh, I mean, it's 30% actually, 30% of the actual price. So let them come, then we take it to chairman for approval and then we just, we close the sale. So it is very important because some of you say, oh, after this product knowledge, is there no offer? Here is an offer. There's an offer for, for us today. There's an offer for us today that you can leverage on to reach out to your prospect, you know, and let them know that there is an opportunity they can reach out for negotiation. So I would, at this point, I would call it a day. So I'm open for your questions, you know, send in your questions and I'm available to take them before we get to our destination. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, uh, Madam Vivian. Thank you all. Thank you, guys. Please, let's give by a round of applause. Please, let's We have, a question, we have a question in the chat section. I will scroll up and read it quickly. Um, Ola Dayo is asking that, what will happen to clients' money during your due diligence? Joe, can someone that? meet themselves there? Your, your line is echoing. So maybe we have more than one device that is on. So can you meet yourself on one and let's just. How about now? Yeah, it's better now. It's okay. Better. Okay, great. So he's asking that what will happen to the client's money if during your due diligence, the land has issues. <laughs> Referring to the pre-launch properties. <laughs> okay, so that is why I said we don't take investors to site. There's nothing we, nothing is going to happen to the investor's money. All we need to do is to get a better and perfect location for such clients. This thing happened in an uh, estate in uh, Asaba. We got Asaba property. When we're selling that Asaba property, we're selling on pre-launch. 
we're selling it on pre-launch for 2.5 million naira. And at the end of the day, we found out that the documents were not that okay. And we, they, we went ahead to get another property. We, I mean, the one we got served is in a prime location with good title, CO4. Do you know that the people that paid the 2.5, we didn't go back to them to say, come and add money. They, they, that is their gain. That is their gain. We, now, we, we, are now, we are now at loss, but we didn't go to them to say, ah, this place we got now is, is a good location. Now come and add money because the title or whatsoever, no. That is the, that is the juicy part of it. Because money is safe and secured. It's safe and secured. If anything happens, we we are in charge. We are we have to take that as we are to take responsibility yeah. to get the person another estate that will be suitable for the okay. You as for the materials, you're welcome. As for the materials, you can. You can reach out to Joe. He knows how to send it across to you guys. Yeah, so for the materials, everything is uploaded on the drive and will be updated immediately after this meeting. Do we have any other questions? This is our opportunity to ask any friendly questions. I remember if you have a client you are speaking with and they are trying to ask for a lesser price, this is your opportunity to tell them there is a chairman negotiation day ongoing. It's between now and next week, between now and the end of this month. So use this opportunity to reach out to them and encourage them to, okay, give you a fair price and reach out to us. We can help you close that deal. Do we still have any other questions? Let me check the comment section again. Mm -hmm. So I want to believe we don't have any other questions. All other questions I've seen are on the dry uh, on the material, which is being uploaded on the drive. Okay, great, great. Yes, all the materials, all the this presentation is majorly focused on GTX lands. So just lands majorly in Nigeria. Okay, someone is asking in the comment section, what does outright sale and landmarks mean? As a real talk, one is expected that you know that answer, but Miss Mata, someone is asking this question. What does outright sale and landmarks Can mean? I answer? Joe, can I answer? Yes, please. Outright payment is when you make your payments, um, when you send everything complete. For example, if your client is on the banner for Berry, for example, I'm just saying for example, and the banner is saying that um, the cost of the land is uh, 5 million naira for outright. That means you are paying everything for 5 million. You are not splitting the payment. The payment, 5 million naira, paying everything. Then for installment is 10 million naira. Installment means that you have opportunity to spread the, um, the payment to three to six months. Outright means that... Outright payments means that you don't have the opportunity to spread the payment. You are paying everything at once. Then for landmark, landmarks means um, the closest direction to the to the estate or to the venue or to the place of the land. I don't know. Don't know how to place it. But landmark is actually very simple. Landmark. What are the places to get to before you get to your destination? That's just. It. That means if I'm coming to um, Berry Ibejileki, I'm supposed to see a Leko bus stop. 
I'm supposed to see a police station. I'm supposed to see, those are the things that will guide you to the estates. That's as simple as that. Please, did I answer that person's question? Yes, perfectly, ma'am. Okay, um, because we still have um, a little time, Joe, please, you are talking about the role play. Can you hear me? Yes, so you can you you are taking over the role play just like we do it. Um, you can take two two on each branches. Please give um our associates um opportunity to role play with us too. You, if you want, we can we can do it in a way that one associate, one staff. It will make sense to to give them the idea to to role play on their own. We're joining a meeting now, so that um, I'm taking an excuse. I'm sorry, guys. I, I wanted to be here, but we we'll have a meeting right now. Joe will take um, will take over the section just for the role play. Thank you all. Um, Thank Joe, you over to much. you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Miss. Let's appreciate both of them one more time. In the comments section, sure you can do the right emoji. Yes. Thank you for clapping here. Okay, so it's role play. For those of us that are joining us for the first time, you should know that role play is where you practice your conversation with the clients among yourselves. So what we do is we we'll pair you with someone, you will sell any of the products that you have just listened to now to your, your mates or your colleague that is on this call so that when you are speaking with the client, you know how to communicate with them better. So awesome. First of all, I want to know, is there anyone that is joining us for the first time? If that's, if you are joining us for the first time, just type yes in the comment section. Yes in the comment section, quickly. Okay, so while we do that, oh, we have Kelvin. Okay, so I want to believe you are the only person. I don't have, I have, you right. I have a number of persons, also, also. Please mute your mic so that the number of us now have our mics on mute. Let's mute it, please. Okay, great. So we have quite a number of persons here. We are moving straight to the sales role play session, and we'll be paying a staff and an associate for the role play, and then an associate and a staff for the role play. So the, for the first set of persons I'm calling, you are calling the person like you, you ran an ad and the person indicated interest. So now you are calling to qualify them so you can close them. Please type your questions in the comment section it will be attended to. So I'm going to call let me call someone that has not role played before. David, David Ray. Can you turn on your video? So you will play with Miss Martha Remulo. Martha, are you with us? I'm with you, but I'm having quotes. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm having yes. this cough and cancer. Can you hear me? I hear you. Your voice is very demure. Yes. I'll try it. Very well, very well. Okay, so, Mr. David, are you ready? You sure I'm ready? I should be the second person to be called. <laughs> I'm so sure. Why are you afraid, Mr. David? Remember, little David killed Goliath now. <laughs> really? Yeah, so from the product that you get, just use what you've learned this morning and any knowledge that you studied on our products to pitch Miss Mata. So the situation is you run an ad for Lagos properties. I know we mentioned a number of them. I don't want to give you an expo. Pick anyone on focus on her, qualify her, and see if you can close her. Okay. Come, come, come again. Let me hear you. Run an ad on Facebook and Miss Mata okay. showed interest. So you are calling to qualify so you can close her. 
Okay, I should take her as a case study, right? As a client, yes. As a client, as a client. yes. All right. First of all, I, I think I will start off with uh, a great introduction. No, you are not right. to tell us how no, you yes. do it. I'm making the call now. Take it that this is an actual client. How will you make the call? How will you communicate with the client? Just call her. Hello, uh, uh, baby. Introduce yourself. Let her know why I'm calling her. Basically, role, role play. All right. All right. Uh, good morning, uh, 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 Mrs. Uh, Day. My name is David, and I'm calling from GTEx Holding. I'm calling in the respect of uh, a designated property uh, in Soso Place. I'm calling you to tell you about uh, a product which uh, uh, it, it deems me fit that it is be of a profitable venture to you. Uh, if you're willing to invest in it. Uh, the property or the product is located at so, so, so place. And these are the neighborhoods and these are the benefits. Uh, I think it will be of a profitable venture if you can invest in this product. Uh, uh, it will be of a profitable venture to you if you can I think of investing in such in this product. Uh, so I I want to know what you think about this offer. So what do you think about this? Can I hear from you? Hello, Mr. David. Am I correct? Yeah, Mr. David. So where did you get my number from? <clears throat> good morning. Oh, good morning. How are you doing? I'm very well. Where did you get my number from? Okay, I I I got your number from uh uh from Mr. A. So I hope you don't mind. I didn't get that. Where did you get my number from? I say I got your number. Somebody referred me uh uh to you that uh you are a smart investor. So I spoke with a friend who told me about you, that uh, you are a smart investor and uh, and also that uh, you like okay, investing. I do not even remember reaching out to anybody or friends referring you, but you can just go ahead with what you have. Let me see. I can just go ahead. Let me give you the time to say whatever you want to say about the investment. Okay, uh, it's it's in the respect, like I've said earlier, it's in respect to uh, a pro a product at uh, GTX Holding. Uh, we have uh this uh product that is selling like Wi-Fi, and uh, I think it's a good an investment opportunity for you, uh, to key into this project and make you catch out your money. Uh, we have a lot of uh investors that have already made their investment in this product. So I feel that this is a good investment for uh, any uh, reasonable and a smart investor who would like to invest his or her money into. So I think it's a product that you like to key into, if you don't mind. Okay. How much are you selling it to? Okay. Actually, uh, all our products are uh, all uh, luxurious and they are not quite on high side. So uh, you can get it on an attract price, uh, so, so, so amount of money, you know. I said, how much are you offering the service, the plots? Okay. And where is, where is the property located? My battery is ten percent. Excuse me, sorry for interruption. My battery just dropped now. My video will be interrupted. 
And you said you have just can, can you give me a second? Let me plug it. If Sally loves me and your phone is dead, and you want to convince me to buy your property. Mr. Joe, can someone else take it over? Said All right. Foolish. Sorry, I'm back now. Okay, so, yeah, okay. So, yeah, 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 Please put me on board so I can speak. I, I want to go and do something, please. Oh, you're bright. We'll get to you shortly, please. So let's evaluate this um, role play. What do you think that he did well? And then what areas do you think he can do better? Mata, you can share your thoughts. OK. Um... Everyone is still learning, but I think you should know much of his product's knowledge. And for, for everybody here, we just have the response at hand because they can reach out to you. Where did you get my number from? And just like the clue which you gave him already that you ran advertisement. So he could have just said, I ran advertisement and you happen to click on advertisement or you indicated interest on my online advertisement. Since you've given me the clue of running advertisement, so can just leverage on that. So I believe we can do better. Next time we will be able to do better. It's still learning, everybody is still learning for the tribe. And you should just know much about this product knowledge. Once you, you cannot sell what you don't know. Once you are very, very familiar with your products, you can sell it even where you've not even been there before. You can sell the products in as much as you know the features, the landmarks, and also the benefits which the investors will be getting. I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can. Yes. All right, yes. that's just it for my end. Thank you very much. From what I observed, we did not hear, we did not hear when I was telling him that he should use the ad format, that he got a number from an ad. That's what I observed. Then secondly, I, when he introduced himself, I felt he, he talked too much without hitting any nail on the head, without bringing up a particular property to sell the, the landmarks or the benefits. He didn't even mention exactly why he was calling you. So those are some of the things that we should look out for when we are making a sales role play or making a code or one call. Mr. David, you are welcome. You will get the recording to see the corrections that were made. Does anybody want to add any suggestions or corrections? Yes, Mr. Joe. Good morning, everyone. Please. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Uh, my name is uh, World Advisor Ola. And uh, kudos to Madam Mata and uh, the guy in the house. <laughs> I know we're all learning, uh, but he lived about the company face to face. The way he was sounding, he's sounding, he's not really sure of what he's saying. So as uh, Madam Mata rightly said, uh, the product knowledge is key. Yes, it's very important. He needs to do more on that. So that confidence has to be there. You need to be sure of what you're saying. Uh -huh. So, and he didn't really make you, as he also rightly pointed, he didn't make use of the template you gave him as to how he got uh, the prospect uh, number. So may God crown our efforts. Thank you. Thank you for that feedback. Thank you. So, you, Bright, you wanted to say something. So you had a question, something like that. Go ahead, quickly. So I replied to I replied to what you said at the comment session. I said I registered. Okay, okay, all right. So we are going to use a staff as a sonder 
does roleplay very well this time around and pair with someone else. So let's see how to do it better. Shola, are you ready for us? Um, hello, sir. Surprise. Please, can I can I speak? Can I try out before ahead, you, Can I try out before you guys this before this staff staff pairing? So, Shola, you are going to sell Osinachi. Pick any products among Elisa, the products did, we've done in our product. Did you hear me, sir? We couldn't hear you earlier. Please go ahead. Okay. Quickly. Okay. So I said, please, can I try out before the staff stop pairing? Okay, that is the sales role play. Please, yeah. let's, I love the fact that you are volunteering, so definitely you can try out. So, um, I'm pairing you with Osinachi. What's oh, not are you ready? You're bright. So give it yes, a sir, go. I'm here. Okay, and so we'd uh, like to see your face. What my task? Give that up. Okay, great. So sell to Osnachi. He's ready for you. You can see he's not smiling. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. Um, please, I need, ahead, to, please. I need to know, is Osinachi a female or a male? Anyway, um, that aside, so I, my name is Ubright. Please, am I on to Osinachi? Listen, actually, we can't hear you. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. We still can't hear you. We have to increase the volume of you. You can't hear me even now. Better. That's strange. Can you hear me now? Much better, manageable. Let's go. Much better. Wow, what is this now? Hello? Right, you can continue. Right, so okay, so, again. okay so, so my name is Ubright. Ubright, rightly pronounced. Um, Mr. Osinachi. Can you hear me, sir? Mr. Osinachi, can you hear me, please? Mr. Osinachi, are you we there? I can barely hear you. I don't know what's the problem, problem but I can't, I can't so even hear we'll you. Have to, uh, we'll have to say... We can't hear you, Osi. I can't we'll, hear you. We have to pay... You try to someone else because of time. Okay, so Samantha, are you ready for us? Samantha, you are going to be the customer that you try to be running. Uh, <laughs> You bright, I see there. Yes, I'm here, sir. <laughs> okay, great. Let me find someone else. Okay, sell to me. Let's not take time. Sell to me. Okay, so um Mr. Joe, yes. Am I on to Mr. Joe? Yes, you 
Okay, so I'm very delighted to have this conversation with you. I We run an ad. My name is Faustin. My name is you, right? And I'm an associate with GTEx Holding. I believe you know this because the ad with which you took interest in, the formal information, the formal um, write-ups are there. So I, I, I'm i going to ask you a question. Do you like the state of this country? Do you like Nigeria as it, as, as it is now? the state of the country, economically, do you like it? I didn't get what you said. Mr. Joe, I I, 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 I'll just, I'll ask you a short question. Do you like the state of the country as at now? I don't know you and you're asking me the state of the country. I know why I'm calling. Okay, I said all of, I said all of those, but maybe you didn't hear me. I said my name is you, Bright. Sir, can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. Yes, I said my name is you, right? And I'm an associate <laughs> with GTEx Holdings. Yeah, how can I help you? Yes, I I ran an ad which I believe you took interest in and you you clicked on the ad and that was how I it, it led you to my DM and I took your number from there. I thought to call you. I can't remember clicking on any ad. What's the ad about? The ad is um, the, it's an advertisement concerning land, investing generally, investing in lands, property purchasing for personal benefits, profit, future profit. Oh, I, I've messaged you for like three days now, and I didn't get a response, so I reached out to someone else. Uh, well, it, it wasn't intentional not to have replied you. I you know, you know, when you run when you run ads, there are over four thousand persons, five thousand persons that get to, you know, troop into your DM because this is a big time opportunity for everybody. So it's more like yeah, I understand, get, I understand. Yes, yes. You have five thousand, you have four thousand. That's not my problem. I wanted okay. that field to add. Okay, sir, sir, sir. I I still I still believe I still believe whatever information I have, you would want to hear it because it will do you good. Okay, so would you spare me a few minutes of your time? Yes. I um okay, so the ad I ran, I, I'm I'm sure you would have gone through it before clicking, clicking on it. We have a few properties that are, that are up for sale in different locations, one of which you may be very interested. I've already told so you far, has gone in, but let me hear what you say. Okay, okay. So so far, uh I want to reintroduce the company in which I'm an, in which I associate or the company I associate with GTEx holding is one of the biggest biggest real estate company that we have existing in this country in Nigeria so if you make a purchase if you purchase a property under GTEx holdings it's like it's a lifetime investment, one which you would never regret. No documentation given to you will be fake. To start with, whatever complaints you have later, you can I always channel brother. it to the company. I brother. What you are saying now, I've heard it before, and I've lost money. It's in fact, almost exactly what you just said now, so the person said. So I'm by the way, I have already followed up with someone else on this. So I am not in the market. So maybe you can check out to me another time. Right now. Okay. Okay, sir. So before you leave, before you leave, please help me do this. I, the part where I mentioned that GTEx is the biggest and all of the you know leverages that comes with them. That was the point where you said you yeah, the biggest, had to hit it? the nail. I didn't hear you, sir. No, time. I said let me hear what you have to say. But right now, we don't have any business. Thank you. Very okay. Much. Okay, so please kindly check our website for more credibility. Thank you very much. Then you can reach out to me if you, if you like. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well, first of all, I like your confidence. But let me hear the evaluation of other persons. Mata, what do you think? Go we'll see. What do you think? You won't just collect the money. <laughs> so let's. It doesn't say after I'm at all. <laughs> so, I like if not for any other thing, if not for any other thing, he he was 
he was persistent. He was he was yes. there. He, was, he didn't yeah. want to leave without getting the results he wants. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Mm. So so that that's a good that's one. That's a good one. So I, I think you started very, very well by calling your name and then asking that my first if you are speaking with me. That was a good start. But then you now went off key. We started asking me about the economy of this country. Like it's not necessary. People you are calling, you know, they have money and they are busy people. I believe we get that. Yes. So I intentionally said that I reached out that I reached out to you three days ago, and they are just reaching out to me now because most times when we are giving leads or when we run an ad and we get clients, we stall, we waste time to call them. Meanwhile, the person reaching out to you most most likely had the money at that time. I know that money is flies. So it's to encourage us when we get leads, when we get clients, call immediately. Call immediately. You should, um, okay. The target is to not exceed 24 hours. Is it to be? Yeah, no. When are you coming back? Uh, which five? You are going to church today. You need me to I'm going to church today. Give me my care. OK. I hope you are getting that. But overall, you did where you were persistent, which is one of the major um, qualities or major attitude of every one of us. We should be persistent. I like the fact that you said I should check your website. And from the way you are persistent, I feel even if I don't check your website, you will still send me the website in my day. Either you add me to your broadcast list. Just be keeping me updated. Over time, you can win me over. So I like I like that aspect of persistence. Do we still have any corrections or adjustments, suggestions? Okay, I think we can take one more before we round up. No problem, also. I just saw your message now. We can take one more before we round up. Is there anyone that wants to volunteer like you bright. I, I love the fact that you volunteer. Stanley. Stanley. Dr. Stanley. Stanley. I would like you to role like play. Osi, are you fully Ossi, back, now? back now? Yes, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, great. So, um, Stanley, role play with OC. Take any of our products and role play with me. Are you in a place where you can speak, Dr. Stanley? Like he has disappeared. Okay, Dr. Fabs, you are welcome. Can you hear me? Is there anybody that wants to go here? Can I try again? Let me call you instead. Let me do the role play. So you'll be as difficult as much as possible as I was difficult for you. I no no. I want to be the one to. I want to be the one to sell to make the person buy. I don't know. I don't want to be the the. Okay, I like okay. the fact that you really want to take push yourself and so let's do that. Like sell to me. Okay, no. Okay, sell to. I think it's better he hears other people, so he will understand. He will. He will, you, you learn more from listening than than speaking yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 So it, it's good. You guys, you try another open. So let's let's let me do this. Osi, let me sell to you. So be as difficult as possible. 
please mute your mic. Is your mic your mic? Okay. Connect audio. Audio, audio. Okay. No, it's not disconnected. I come. Yeah. Okay, I think it's okay now. It's not. Just a minute. Okay, is it better now? No interruptions. Hold on. What's it? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, awesome. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, my Mr. name is Joe. Am I on to Mr. Osi? Oh, okay. You're correct. How did you get this number? Okay. I ran an ad yesterday and indicated interest for our property in Ibajuleki. I don't know, do you remember, sir? A property, a land or a house? A land, a land. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I remember, I remember clicking on an ad. All right, so I'm calling to know if you have any questions on the ad that you saw. Do you have any questions? Where is it located? It's located along Leko, Leko. In Lagos, I actually I've actually sworn not to let anyone around me buy buy a property in Lagos anymore. Sorry, I didn't get you, sir. So, did you say it's in Lagos? Yes, Ibetuleki, in Lagos, Leko to be precise, close to Leko Beach. I actually clicked on that ad just to see what you what is there or what is available. But I was disappointed when I saw that he's in Lagos because I swore that no, no nobody around me will buy any other property in Lagos, let alone me doing it myself. Okay, so which location would you buy? Which location would you prefer? Is it that okay? You have other locations? Yes, we have in over 30 locations in Nigeria. Okay. What do you have in, do you have any property around uh, Abia State or Asaba? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, we do have a property in Abia State. Okay. It's, a lot, it's around uh, Agbo Hill. I don't know if you're familiar with that place. Agbo Hill, Agbo Hill, yeah. yes. So, um, may I know if you are looking to buy for residential or the land bank? Like, are you buying to build the building for the bank? I, I think at the last part of the question. Oh, see, okay, I'm asking if you are buying to build or you are buying for land bank. Don't be those people who don't call me for another person. Please. Sorry, there's, there's someone's video that is audio that is on me. John, you can't I said you're on Please mute your mic so that there will be no distractions. Okay, I think I've done that. Let's go ahead. Please go ahead. Awesome. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I'm not hearing you. Oh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Osi, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Put up the phone. Yeah. 
Ah, bah non, je suis pas tant. No, I'm not muted. I can see, see. Can anybody hear me? If you can, Martha, can you hear me? I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. I can hear you loud and clear. Check if every other person can hear you, actually. Yes, Before they just confirmed that they can hear me. Thank you, Mr. Taufi. Can every other person in the meeting hear you? I can't hear you. I can't hear I you. can. I can hear him. I can hear both of you. I can Thank hear you both John. of you. Thank you, John. We can, we can hear you. They can hear me. Osi, what of now? Can you hear me? Mr. Joe, I can hear you. Osi, what of now? Can you hear me? I'm not hearing you, Joe. Okay, Sorry. I think it, the audio is from your end, though. Mata, Mata, can I role play with you? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, can I role play with you? I'll call you then. It'll be hard, hard, hard customer. Oh. Okay. Okay, so good afternoon, ma. Hello, good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Okay, my name is Joe. Am I on to Mrs. Martha? Yes, you are. How may I be over? Okay. I, I'm forgetting my life. You said? Okay, just try connecting. Sorry for the delay. Okay. So, good afternoon. My name is Joe. I run an ad and you showed interest. So, I'm calling to know if you have any questions in the ad. For a land in Abuja, Abuja, Abuja. Okay. No, okay. So how did you get my number? Yeah, I, you run. You showed interest in the ad I run for a property in Abuja. That's why I'm calling to know if you have any questions. I do not see any advertisements. I'm not sure I come across any advertisements. Okay, but you are familiar with Abuja, ma'am. Mm, I'm in Abuja, yes. I'm familiar with Abuja. I used to hear Abuja. Okay, great. And you are, and you are sure, sure, sure this week you did not go online to check any property around Abuja? I didn't, but you can just go ahead. Okay, great. I'm not great. sure. Okay. Sure. Since, since you are saying you did not click on the ad, okay, since you are saying you did not click on any ad, I just want to be sure. Um, you are in the market to get a property in Kujé. You said what? I just want to be sure. I believe you are in the market to get a property in Kujé. I said you can just go ahead with whatever you have, but I cannot recall okay, that's clicking fine. on any advertisement. Okay, that's fine. So the property is located in Uji and um, close to the Nigerian Ghana International College, the Manjaro restaurant, um, the military checkpoint, that's um, 176 Battalion Brigade, that's the Army Barracks, basically. And then, most importantly, Namdia Zipo Airport. So I don't know, with these things I've mentioned, does it look like a property you like to get? I'm not looking towards buy any property now. And when you're talking about Kujay, Kujay it's house kids now. I cannot buy property there. It's house kids. Oh, okay. I understand that. And thank you for being very straightforward that you're not looking to buy property now. However, if you were to buy in Abuja, what location would you prefer? I'll prefer maybe Asokolo, Meitama, you know, the busy places. I'm not going to Kujay. Kujay yeah, I, I think Jay is just I like majorly the fact that, I like the fact that you like high areas. And at the same time, I'm happy because we have properties in these locations that you've mentioned. 
So, but let me just give you a brief of the Asuko precise. And before I give you, I believe you know how much properties in Asuko are, right? So I just have limited time. You can just let me know what you just want to bring to the table. Okay. So the property in Asuko, of course, is close to the NAF Valley Estate. It's also close to the AYA Central Mosque. I believe, I don't know if you are familiar with these areas. Asuki. Yeah, I do hear those locations. Okay, great. So what I want to be sure of is, have you got property in that location before? Hello, Mark, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Just let me know where you have your property. I don't have long time, um, Mr. Joe. That's, or what that's you know yourself. Fine. I don't want to waste your time. That's why I want to be sure that we're on the same page. You, you've already heard the landmarks that I mentioned. Are you looking to... Have you gotten property in that location before? I don't think it's one of your... I think it's one of your business to know if I've gotten property in those assets. So just let me know what you have. And if I'm pleased with it, I will go for it. I'm not. Okay, so the property is going for... Okay, before I even tell you how much it is, I want you to know what makes the property what it is or what it is worth. So the property is not a regular estate. It's a green and smart estate. So by green, I mean renewable energy and... Um, eco-friendly environment, then by smart, I mean tech, basically. Yes, it is almost, it's totally technicized. So for the renewable energy, I want you to know that there is what we call the biodigester in the estate that converts all waste to cooking gas. So making it a healthy environment and people in the estate would not have to be using gas. So even if you are just buying for land banking and you are not intending to build, for these facilities in the estate, the value of the property will continue to appreciate. Then for security-wise, we usually have both manned security at the gate and we have CCTV cameras at strategic locations in the streets and as well as CCTV cameras in the houses. Then lastly, uh, there are still a number of them, but I just want to be brief because of the time. You should also know that we pride ourselves on zero carbon emission, meaning that there will be no generators in the gas. So the, that gas, sorry, in the estates. So that carbon or that gas that comes out of generators, we you will not be seeing it in the estates. So imagine you come into an estate and there is no noise, there's no sound. Indirectly, it means that there, indirectly, it means that there is not going to be any carbon emission in the estate. So apart from this, in the estate, there's going to be more, there's going to be hospitals, there's going to be spa gym. Is there life. everything in the estate correctly as we speak? So this are these are the are Is it visible the estate now? These are developments for the estate, but we've not put a number of things yet. So you have the advantage of buying it lesser. Because when these things are there, the price will be, of course, not what you are getting it now. Okay, you can just send me the details on WhatsApp. This is my WhatsApp number. And when I'm interested, I will get back to you. Okay, I will do that. But I don't want to waste your time on my time. I would like to know how soon are you looking to get the property? Okay. Hello, you said what? I said, I'd like to know how soon you are looking to get the property. Mm, I'll just check. Once you send it to me, I'll check through. And if I'm convinced, I'll reach out to you back. Okay. okay. Um, the reason why I'm asking is because there is currently an ongoing discount that is ending by the end of this month. So okay. um, for the aspect of you being convinced, um, I'd like to know what area that among the things I've said right now that you're not yet convinced, so I'll know how to 
um, help you understand better. Okay, just send it to me first, then I'll go ahead after checking it out. Everything I'm to send to you is everything I've already told you on the call. So um, I would like to know if there's an area, is it, is it um, you are not satisfied with the development or is it that you don't trust me? Yes, or I've not even mentioned the price. So is it that you are, you, you are skeptical? Mr. Joe, you are putting words into my mouth. You are putting words into my mouth. Send all the things that you have in Abuja to me. Then let me check through. All right, I'll do that. When I send it, when would you like me to call you back for a follow up? I will call you. I'll be the one to reach out to you because I'm satisfied with whatever you say to me. Thank you. Okay, I appreciate that, man. But all the person that I ever see the report, none of them ever called me. So I would appreciate you letting me know that I can call you at a particular time. Send details to me first and I will get back to you. Via chat or calling, I will get back to you. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Man. You're welcome. So you guys should evaluate me, please. So I have a question, please. The question is, um, you mentioned amenities like mall, hospitals, spa gym. I said you should evaluate me. What areas did I do well and what areas can I do better, please? Go around. It's already 10 o'clock. Mata, you can correct me. What area did I do well? What area should I do better? Okay, my observation is that when you reach out to clients and the person said is in Kujie is not in town, you understand? So Kujie is not in town. You can also can you hear me? Mr. Yes, Joe, I can hear you. are you with me? when the person said Kujie is not in town? Uh you just have to tell the person, Kujie, we are selling the property now for investment purpose, land banking, basically. I can also just let the person know do. every of the city now, the Metama they are talking about now, the Asokoro main they are talking about now, the Kusape one they are talking about now, one started like J. So do you now want to tell me that there are some people that, not, that bought at the rate of, mm, I'm coming, some people too bought Gusape one, they bought Metama when it was selling very cheap. And then would be when it was not fully developed. So you want to also let the person know why he or she should buy into Kujie that you have. And what we have done also is just to state all of the estate that you have in Abuja. Let them know the location. And you can also ask what purpose are you buying for? Are you considering? So if it's building, maybe just to buy and build. Jasper view is there for buy and build. Of course, we've sold out the property, we've sold out the land, but they can buy it to the off-plan building. If it's for, I just want to keep my money, later I will resell, knowing fully what that school will do, who J can go for that. Do you understand? And if it's completed with the person who wants, fine, detail suite, you can search for the, can you hear me? Yes, yes. So if it's also completed building, Jita Suite is also there. We have one five, I think it's five units, four bedroom uh, semi-detached in Abuja that we have 250 million era that we are selling, Jita Suite. So I think what should be doing going forward is let's know the purpose of, of the reason, or let me say the purpose that investors or subscribers or prospects want to buy for. That will also save us a lot of stress of we narrowing down all of the properties that we have. Then I have been, I said, send the, you're just putting words into my mind. You're saying, have I not done right? You're just, you don't, I know you're desperate to sell. 
but not to you to be letting them know, did I do right? No, that should be, that should be after, maybe the person did not reach out to you again, you can now do a survey that I want to know why you did not reach out to me. There's somebody I've been following up for a year. The person reached out through doctor, doctor said in contact to me. I think, no, we, we used to take the contact from the what I I saw group then. So, and he said, I've followed up the woman for a month. I said for a month, for a year rather, more than a year, sir. I just have to follow that. I type exam. Why haven't you subscribed yet? I want to know, is there something I'm doing wrong? Or why haven't you subscribed? Because I'll be following up for a year now. So you want to shuffle the prospect to some might not even have the money. They're just disturbing you. So are you to you have many people you want to reach out to? Not that not to waste your time. You want to ask for the budget, you want to ask for the purpose which they are buying into. Or purpose which they click the advertisement for. I just serve it and go ahead and send details to them. Follow up. And I love the fact that you created urgency. You have this kind going on to help this. So that this can this can be second um, income of everybody. So that this can might now let the person check through and key into it with proper follow-up also. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. So I've seen a number of areas where I should improve. Um, one of which is the purpose of buying. I know I missed out in asking that question. It's really a question I ask. Another area is the person's budget. But well, from the energy that the client was already giving me, I know that this one is not ready to speak on budget, but it's fine. Then for the aspect of me persisting, you can see that I have followed up with the clients for a year. I felt from my own point of view, everyone has their own um, way of approach. From my own point of view, rather than me having to follow up on you for a year, I can ask you that question up front from the beginning. Do you understand? So that I will not. 90% of the people we send materials to, that's where it dies. You call them, they don't pick. You send them a message, they don't respond. Especially a client that is giving you the energy that you gave me. You know that this one is not calling you back. This one is not going to respond to your message you give. So that's why I wanted to salvage everything I can salvage on the call before the person goes. But I do appreciate every um, addition that you, an improvement that you pointed out. And these are areas I will put in practice more. So another thing is, I usually encourage, have your questions down. Have your questions that you ask. I, I have a now. meeting to join now, Joe. Yes, I okay, have no a problem, to no join. Problem. Thank you very, very much. So I always say that have the questions you want to ask down. That's the first thing. Um, have your scripts. By the way, cold call or warm call does not have a particular script that everybody must follow. You understand? You have to find the style that works with you. What flows with me may not be what flows with someone else. What I do is I call my first name and I call the person's first name as well so that they can speak. So I don't enter a long opening line that will lose the person's attention. After the person confirms their name and I'll state the purpose of the call and okay, I state how I got their number and then the purpose of the call. I got a number from the ad that I ran, and I wanted to know if you have any questions on the ad. Do you understand? Or if someone gave you the ad, you mention it. If you don't mention their name, you say you got the number from either a comp your company's database. Do you understand? And then the reason why I'm calling is this. Just so that you don't lose the client's attention. If you enter into a long stretch talk at the opening line of the conversation, Trust me, the client to just put the phone on speaker and be doing other things. That's my observation. So, um, also have your products. Some of you observe that I had my product on my screen. So, as I'm measuring the place, I'm looking at. Um, we will not have answered. So, do we have any questions, suggestions, contributions? Okay, that's true. Thank you, Laola. Mention something. Laola was asking that how about their offlines? So, please, if you are not registered, 
and you are about to register. Oh, that's true. Please reach out to your offline. Reach out to your offline to register. If they send me a message. You bright was asking how does he introduce himself to potential investors? So your question now, you bright, are you with us? You bright, are you with us? So how do you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. If it's on call, if it's on call, it's different. It is, if it's physically, it is also different. But let me have a picture of how you currently introduce yourself so we can expound on it. Go ahead, please. We're running up in the next six minutes. I was the one asking the question. I don't, the, the uh, introduction I mean is maybe physically or is there an introduction that 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 um directly okay. mentally associates the person the associate and the company okay so you can mention don't just say you're an associate can you hear me can you yes, hear sir, me i can sir? hear you don't just say you are i can an hear you sir yes don't just say you're an associate of gtex say you Executive, just put create a picture that you have someone of high rank in the company, an executive. Associate. Wait, I didn't, I didn't get that part. Just I didn't get that part. Please say it again. Say it again, please. I said, don't just don't just say you are an associate. You understand? An associate could just be anybody. Add some words: executive associate or senior wealth advisor with G text. Do you understand? Are you, yeah. are you with me? Yes, yeah, sir. You also want to sell Dr. Steven as well, founded by Dr. Steven Akintayo. Do you know him, Sal? Do you know him, Ma? The person does not know. You copy Dr. Steven's profile on YouTube, send to the person. Copy GTX Holdings profile on YouTube, send to the person. You understand? That removes the barrier of trust. You, if you, you also should send the website, send Steven Akintayo website as well. All these things, it's good you have them somewhere. I have them on my own personal chat. So as I'm conversing, I can easily copy and send. Then you now move to oh. the reason why I'm calling. Okay, so Hello? So I, I didn't get the introductory part properly. I heard senior okay. was... Um... Advice or advice or, or executive okay. associate. Yes. Okay. And the truth is you want to keep your introduction as short as possible. And you want to focus more on enabling whoever you are calling to talk more. Uh, did I answer your question? But yes, you know, sir. physically it's a different, um, it's a totally different introduction. So physically, you know what they call elevator pitch. If you meet Dr. Steven himself in a little, how would you introduce yourself to, cap to capture his interest? I don't know. It's a lot. So you need to, you, that, your elevator pitch has to be unique to you. But important variables is your name, your role, the organization you work with, and then the service I provide. Do you understand? Or how you can help them. So it's good to create an elevator pitch that will make the person ask questions. You can put your years of experience inside, whichever way, but your elevator pitch has to be unique to you. My elevator pitch is totally different from what everybody uses. Please say it okay. again, your name, your role, organization you work with. Your name, your role, the organization you work up, and the service you provide. Or instead of service you provide, how your service can benefit them. Samantha, you've not said anything in our role. <laughs> All right, so I think we have rounded up. We have concluded at exactly 10 15. 
Thank you very much for making our time. Do have a great, great day.